attention, duelists! If you could all stop staring at my hair for a moment. We are back with another video for you. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today, we are going to run it back to the most insane Yu-Gi-Oh! collection that I feel like has ever been opened on YouTube. Now, back in March, we opened an insane collection, and it took us almost four Hours. So this is the kind of video you're want, gonna wanna you know play and then have it sit in the background and check this out, man, because we got some insane stuff in this collection and we have a giveaway for the video as well. I'm gonna be giving away the quarter century secret rare that's within this pack and it's not a god card, so it's either a dark magician, red eyes, or blue eyes. If you wanna get in on this giveaway, all you gotta do is leave a thumbs up on the video, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell so you stay on top of all the badass stuff we got coming your way. And Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite part of the opening was, what the best part of the collection was, and if you think we did a good job on this one. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right. We live. We are live and in person. Attention Duelist, epic live stream coming at you. Oh my gosh, guys, uh, I know nobody's in here yet, but if you're watching this back, we have an absolutely insane video uh, that's gonna, we're gonna be here for a while. Uh, we're gonna be hanging out for at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Uh, and we're gonna go through this epic collection that we bought today first and foremost um i gotta give a shout out to this dude mitch who sold me these cards uh he told me that he's been playing with these cards since he was in middle school and uh specifically you know he's he, just packing this up last night he said it you know going through his cards he was getting he's getting emotional just thinking about you know leaving them and and you know, moving on from him, but I assured him Attention Duelist uh, is the uh, best place for his collection to go home to because obviously we're working on building our collection back up. Um, I've been playing this game for 20 years now and it's uh, it's one of the best games I've ever played. Um, and I just got into it in 2020, got back into it heavy, and this is the best time uh, for you to be a Yu-Gi-Oh player. Uh, just some people move on from it and uh, totally understandable, but uh, I'm going to be thanking him throughout this video. Mitch, you are the shiz noodle bambizzle for uh, hooking this collection up for us. So we take great pride in going through uh, the work that you've put in to amass this collection, now finding a home at Attention Duelist. So let's start with the legendary collection game board and we got the we got the borfer in the background and uh i'm gonna i'm gonna call her over hey scarlet come here trash you doing picking fights out there uh so we're gonna start with the legendary collection game board here um we did order a case of the new legendary collection 25th uh anniversary so that's gonna be rolling in in about three weeks so I'm very stoked for that. So let's crack in to the first of many boxes. Again, Mitch, thank you so much for this, man. I don't know what we're in store for, but it's going to happen. So, okay, the first is just the Legendary Collection mat. Nothing in here but the game board. So we got the... Uh, this box just hits so hard. We're going to be seeing more of that in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Okay, oh, okay, sounds like we got cards in here. Legendary Collection 3, Yugi's World. Let's open this bad boy up and see what we got inside. I know there's probably going to be hollows scattered throughout. Yep, I can already see, so try to get these. Try to get these underway here and see. There's, I, there's so many cards that, you know, we're starting to build our decks and we're starting to um, build more decks. And... There's so many cards we don't have that that's what I'm most excited for. White Princess. So we're going to kind of fly through these a little bit because we have a lot to get to. 
We've got the Heretic Dragon of Gabib. Blaze Phoenix, the Skull Conductor. So, Revoke Fusion. So, Shadow Spell, first edition. Starter Kaiba Evolution. We got Solar Flare Dragon. And, uh, yeah. So, just some. Just some randoms. Like I said, we were going through so much. So I know some of you guys are probably going to be rolling in here. It's good. Like I said, we're going to be streaming for a while. So uh, yeah, people are taking their time. Totally understandable. So not to worry. But again, yeah. Um, I th you know what's funny is I actually saved this collection. I found it on Facebook Marketplace. And I remember looking at it like, wow, that is a sturdy investment. Um, and uh, I was just like, man, okay, I'm just going to sit on that for a while. And then um, just scrolling through Facebook Marketplace, I ran into it again. And I didn't realize until I committed to buy it that I had actually saved. What up, Mike Jones? Random goodies. Nice. Dude, if you just joined, uh, we are, bro. We have a massive collection we're going through. We're going to be here for a while. So, I mean, I, I I don't expect you to be here for the whole thing, but I appreciate you showing up anyway. So, thank you, dude. Um, but, yeah, this dude, Mitch, he had this collection for a while. And um, I, I just, like I said, I sat on it for a little bit. And then I after I had agreed to purchase it, I went back and I was like, oh, I actually saved it. Um, that's, like, one of the nice features on Facebook is you can actually save a post. And that's I saved that Marketplace post. And I was like, wow, I completely forgot that I had saved this one. But um, I got to say, I don't know if it's uh, his fiance or his girlfriend uh, or wife, but uh, when I showed up to get them today, I was uh, floored. Oh, we got a uh, star. We got some star pack stuff. The Arcana Force and Dark World Shackles. So I was uh, I was floored with the amount of stuff that we got. Ooh, we got a ceasefire. From Dark Beginning, super rare. Um, yeah, I, I could not believe what we were getting. So I told Mitch, I was just, I texted him, I'm like, bro, your, uh, your collection's going to be safe with us. So, all right, uh, uh, just about through this first box. And... Yep, yeah, just mainly some comments. I we got Shadow Spell... Again, well loved Shadow Spell Mage Spectre Cat. So nothing crazy in this uh, in this first box here in the uh, Legendary Collection Three. We've got dozens of tins that we got to go through. So next one, Legendary Collection Kaiba. It's open. It's just the box, but it's got a lot of cards inside. So. Lot more stuff in here and we also have the game board in there so defrag drag trickstar and again I think there's gonna be some hollow foils kind of scattered throughout here hollows and rares randomly placed throughout but again if you guys are new to the channel feel free to uh, hit that like button hit subscribe we've got this month is gonna be insane um, for the openings that we're going to be doing uh we like i said we got a case of legendary collection 25th anniversary oh man i see a uh i see a i see a plastic thing in there i'm i'm i think we got a uh i think we got a lost art card in there we got lord of d started at kaiba very well loved and now we're running into some hollow oils so we got boot sector dragoonity tiger dragon exile of the wicked shrink so it looks like, oh, some legendary collection, um, Kaiba, Hollow Foil, so. Horse Raider, Judge Man. Yeah, some solid uh, Warrior Elimination, Tyrant Burst Dragon, Rider of the Stormwinds, Dragoonity. Who knows, maybe we'll run into uh, Ash Blossom here. But I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling a, a piece of plastic here, so I think we're gonna get a, uh, a Lost Art. So let's, uh, let's gather stuff here don't know or what it might be so frag drag oh okay i think i see what this is it's not a lost art it is the legendary collection 06 
And I don't know if this is, I, honestly, I have no idea if this is like a value seal, but I mean, they're better protected. So I'm gonna open them up anyways. Let's see what's inside. Cause a lot of this stuff is like brand new to me. I have not, like there's so much that I missed out on. So Goddess of the Sweet Revenge, the King of D, Destruction Dragon, Dragon Reveal, Loop of Destruction. Okay, yeah, so it wasn't anything super, super special. Um, but yeah, we have uh, barely scratched the surface here. I think we got a couple more. Okay, yeah, so we got a couple of these. We're gonna keep them sealed uh, to toss in for giveaways and stuff. Um, so we got the Sylvan Princess Sprite, Odd Eyes Advanced Dragon, a Super Quantum Mech King, Beat Cop from the Underworld, and High Priestess of Prophecy. So, man, lots of, so much stuff to get into, guys. I mean, we're, this is, this is absolute madness. How many cards we're going to be sifting through tonight. So, definitely uh, get some snacks if you guys are hanging out with us and, and chill out, because it's going to be a freaking long night, which, I mean, a long night. Looking at Yu-Gi-Oh cards is a better... Oh, there we go. That's a little XYZ Dragon Cannon alt art. Not the lost art. It's the Legendary Collection Kaiba version. Yugi Boy TCG! Oh, man. What up, brother? Uh, you, uh, listen, Yugi Boy TCG, uh, this dude's always cracking some cool stuff. Uh, make sure to hit subscribe and, uh, and follow this dude's YouTube channel because he's always cracking some really cool stuff. Man... He's been trying to get any Dark Magician girl, he's got any Dark Magician girl out of Mavens, Ghost, or the Tins to no avail. He's just getting heartbroken over and over again. But I know the feel. I, I think he said he opened up four displays of Ghost from the Past, the most recent one. I think I opened up uh, three of them and I got the Sphere Mode. So we got Black Metal Dragon, the OPO6. Cyber's Wizard, Break Off Trap Hole. So, yeah, uh, we have got a long way to go. So, let me break down while we kind of skim through the cards here what we have. Uh, if you follow us on our Instagram, we got like a sneak peek. Um, yeah, you got it, brother. Uh, you get with TCG, by the way, um, lives over like by where I grew up on the east side of Michigan. And dude's like probably like 10 minutes from my house. And, uh, if you guys watch some of my older videos, my buddy Creepy, uh, we've done a couple of openings together. We were talking about doing a um, just a tournament with like friends, and I I told Creepy I was like, dude, we gotta hit up Yugi Boy TCG. He's like right down the street from where I used to live. So, but uh, yeah, man, it's uh, <laughs> it's freaking crazy the the pull rates. Yeah, I'm kind of heartbroken because it's like I can't even tell you. Rather, I don't even want to know how much money. I invested into the original ghost from the past and uh, nothing, nothing but tears of sadness. Four cases, you four, four cases, what the trash, bro? Four cases, and wait, didn't you say you pulled the one dark magician girl though? That's freaking insane, man. So, reborn, reborn, so yeah. Just some, oh, here we go, nice little uh, call of the grave. I actually have a, a couple call of the graves that are got a big name shift i think the name is like shifted down here it's pretty wild but yeah i got a couple of those so all right so uh getting back to what i was alluding to uh earlier this is box number two so we have a legendary collection kaiba before that we had yugi's world um and now we've got two dual power boxes um after that we've got like 16 tins to go through and then we've got like a whole bunch of other, we got some other boxes and then we've got man we've got three binders which we're saving for the last uh because he said those are his more valuable cards so we're gonna wait and see okay so nothing in this uh dual power box just the dual power map <clears throat> pardon me Pulled one blue eyes and my Dark Magician Girls in, from a mystery pack. Oh, that's huge, bro. I know, I got to get in on those sauce. I saw some of those sauce packs, man, and I was like, okay, 
This dude knows, knows what's up. He's putting together some sweet stuff. Okay, so now we're in dual power, and we've got a couple of sealed packs of the Dupos as well. So we're going to keep those sealed because they're probably like the legendary collection. Fright for Patchwork, Necroz Mirror, Double Hero, Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend, Hollow Chaos Form, Return Soul, Dark Magic, Twin Burst, Silver Gadget, that's pretty sweet, another Silver, Toon Dark Magician Girl, oh nice, we got the, uh, we got the Alt Art Stardust Dragon, Utopia, that's great, Decode, always a solid staple, Gross, alright, Quintet, I just took Quintet out of my Dark Magician deck. That broke my freaking heart. It's just, there's so many good side cards now to get this sucker working. Got Grand Mirage, Galaxy Eyes, Decode Destruction. It's a lot of Dupo stuff. So there's very, I don't even think I need much for the Dark Magician deck. i have It's pretty much good to go. Got the Ge, more Chaos Form, more Necroz, Hot Red. Stardust Wish, Mark of the Rose, Necroz Mirror. Sweet. So, solid Dupo stuff over here. So, all right. Now, for most, uh, for the most part, the boxes are done. Um, so we are through with the dual power. Now, moving on to the tins, which we have a ton of. There's so many freaking tins. Um, all right, I'm seeing some hollows right off the rip, so let's go into it. See what we got here. Dark Eye Nightmare. Z okay, so I'm seeing some Mega Tin stuff here. So Greater Polymerization, that's a great freaking card. Dual Tower, Baby Mud Dragon, Ghost Reaper, Dogmatica Genesis, Soul Energy Max. Masquerade the Blazing Dragon, great freaking card. I hate Fallen of Alves because it's such a good deck. Ruin Force. Fabled Zexel, so. All right, Ice Jade Tremora. White Baking. All right. So yeah, getting some Mega Megaton stuff. There's a lot of Megatons over here. Uh, I think some of the things that we're looking for, that I'm hoping to find, i um, looking for a super rare Magician's Rod, because I run three Trap Tricks Calaria, uh, super rare. So yeah, I run three in my deck, but I think I only have two holofoils. So, you know, we got a lot of a lot of cards mixed up with some sleeves here. So, let's see what we got. Scapegoat, limiter removal, Ancient City. We got the Thunder Dragon Duo. And Eclipse Wyvern, Sky Striker Ace, Shizuku. So many. So we got Hero Solid Soldier, a bunch of him. Deck Devastation Virus, very nice. Unlimited from uh, Flaming Eternity. Not the ultimate rare, but still a good card nonetheless. The Eater of Millions. <clears throat> Pardon me. Spend uh, 12 hours of my life talking so I can come home and talk even more. But I love it because I wouldn't rather be doing anything else. Foolish, extra foolish burial. And we got Morphin Jar, uh, Priestess of Ib Style, Slash Draw, Slash Draw, Memories of Hope, See More Ibs, Orcus Mind Crush. Oh, money! This was, a, okay, now this is a card I almost ordered like three times for my extra deck. I, I'm still back and forth because right now the only level six monster I have in my deck is Dark Magician Girl. As much as I hated uh, taking out mana, I did. But still, um, I'm holding on to this card because I'm, I'm still torn on it. I love mana, but man, yeah, still great card. We got, oh, Merlin. Wow, secret rare. I've, I have never held one of these before. That's hilarious. Merlin. I, I don't know if you guys remember that freaking, that show, Merlin, with like Sam Neill. Uh, that was awesome. Who was it? Martin Short was in it. Uh, I, I love that movie. It was super cheesy. But a lot of good actors in it too. Uh, what's it? Tim Burton's wife. What's her name? Um, 
Yeah, I can't remember. She's in it. Man, it's star-studded. Outer Entity Nerlia. That's secret rare. That pops. Fabled Raven. M Mud Dragon of the Swamp. Giko Taka. Yeah, there we go. Sexy secret rare Dark Magician. Girl. Dark Magician. I love this one. All right, the gates of the dark world dragged down to the grave. Some supers. All right, got Salamangrates, Magical Meltdown, Thunder Dragundo, Sky Strikers, Eternal Galaxy. Oh, look, we got the uh, Hollow Foil Eater of Millions, In Incantation. Snipe Hunter, Gateway to Chaos, Elemental Hero Chaos, Neos, Hayate, and a Secret Rare, Flute of Summoning Dragon, really cool, looking real crisp. So YCS London in full effect, I don't know if you guys saw, but they're, uh, I know there's a bunch of dudes who are uh, vlogging, uh, we got dog man we got some ultra rares danger dog man but yeah i saw um casuals over there he's doing the vlogging looks like a ton of fun uh overdone burial okay, so we're gonna be here for a while guys <laughs> mystery card uh, i'm trying to see what it is it looks like some kind of curse of dragon thing i don't know we'll get to it uh blue eyes ultimate dragon secret rare another flute of summoning dragon secret rare We've got uh, we got a whole bunch of upside down stuff. All right, let's flip that bad boy. Triggering worm, hibernation dragon, couple of them. Another burial, crystal rageki, and some tokens. So, galaxy tomahawk. Yeah, appreciate you guys hanging out and supporting the channel. Some outer entities. These things are gruesome, man. I freaking love these things. Oh, yeah, dude. You, honestly, Yugi Boy, like, the, oh, here we go. Man, okay. Who was it? MBT was just talking about the, the artworks that you want to see. We need we need Drunken Taper. We need Drunken Taper. We also need uh, Bondi Beaver Warrior. Uh, personal, personal request. That'll never happen, maybe. Uh, but, yeah, we need the Drunken Taper. This is a great freaking ultra rare. Um, but, yeah, uh, dude. The, that I, I remember the first time I got that specific Dark Magician, and I wasn't a huge... I You know, I was never a huge fan... Oh, look at that Secret Ray. That's nice. I was never a huge fan of the Legend of Blue Eyes... Uh, Legend of Blue Eyes illustration of Dark Magician. It was never my favorite. I have a Secret Rare from the tin that I really like. I really like the Secret Rare of that card. Not a fan of the Ultra, but... When it comes to like the actual like original printing of LLB, it still looks good. But that one in particular, I really like. I'll shout out Winda, some secret Windas, LP. Yeah, I really like that secret rare. We got the, oh the nice uh, ultra rare Kaiba. That's my favorite uh, Blue Eyes illustration too. So I remember like when we first started playing back in like 2023, um, my buddy Joe. Card of Continents, Secret Rare, very nice. He was, he had introduced me to the game and I, you know, I started with the, the starter deck Danger Mothman right there. I started with the starter deck Yugi and he had the blue eyes and he was, he was blue eyes like straight through. Um, and we played up until like 2016, 2017, then we took a break because some not so awesome things happened in life and, you know, since then, the game was never the same, but we kind of we got back into it in 2020, and I'd kind of followed it through the years, but um, yeah, I remember when Joe got that, uh, I remember when Joe got that blue eyes with the, with the earth in the background, I was like, bro, that's doomy. All right, so we are almost through this first tin. Oh my gosh, we're maybe 10% the way through. <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy. Wonder Wand, Gem Knight. Again, Mitch, if you're watching or if you're tuning in, man, much love to you. Uh, you've got some awesome cards that you 
hooked us up with and Chimera. I'm freaking stoked. Oh, look at that. Metal Raiders Toon Mermaid. That is a good one. Very nice. And you know what? It's not in bad condition. I would maybe uh I would give that the LP, man. Ooh, wait a minute, what's that? Oh, that's just a string for her bow. That's the that's lightly played right there. That's not bad. It's not uh, first edition, but what a hell of a pull. That's sweet. Pot of greed. <clears throat> Man. So appreciate you guys hanging out. Like I said, this is going to be a long video, so I will not be mad if you <laughs> tip in and out. A bunch of Danger Dog Man super rares. But uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe to the page, guys. Like I said, epic month ahead of us. We've got the 25th anniversary. Uh, that This tin is done. Uh, oh, and by the way, we got these... Uh, we got these uh, Jaden tins. We've got like eight or nine or ten of these. I know, dude. I was so stoked for the Toon Mermaid. Did not expect that. We've, if if you want any of these for your collection, um, like I said, I've got a bunch of these. I've also got a bunch of 5Ds ones. I'll show you which one. Um, I'll show you which one we got. But we got a bunch of these empties. So, all right. Cool. All right, next tin we're going to bust into Red Dragon Archfiend. And if this is any indication, um, I hope we pull a secret rare tin Red Dragon Archfiend. So let's see what's in here. These look a little bit more loved, these cards. These, these look a little bit more... Uh, oh, but... Right off the rip, we're opening up with a Mask of Accursed from uh, Labyrinth of Nightmare. Definitely heavily played, but still. Who knows what the heck we're going to pull out of here. So, these look like some older cards. <clears throat> Another Mask of the Accursed. That's the worst when you open up some old packs and you freaking Mask of Accursed. Like, awesome. Let me just stub my toe again. <laughs> But that's why I love that they're bringing out uh, reprints of the old sets, man. I love the fact that they're doing this 25th anniversary. Even as a collector, um, you know, I don't think anything is ever going to replace the value of the original packs. I don't think there's any, any harm of doing that. But as an old school player, um, I, <clears throat> I hate the term Yugi Boomer, Boomer but, you know, I will for this uh, analogy. As a Yugi Boomer, you love to open those old packs. And I'm sure there's another, uh, oh, we've got a Starfoil Giant Soldier Stone. Um, you love opening those old packs because it, it's incredibly nostalgic. At the same time, they're so freaking expensive. And it's like, I'm, I'm not necessarily mad that you don't get a guaranteed hollow foil and i kind of hope they keep it that way but that's why i love opening the old packs but they're freaking expensive man it sucks but that's why i'm happy that they're reprinting these sets because i cannot wait to crack into these the the sets are going to be so much fun to and i like i said i hope they keep the same i hope they don't have like um i hope they don't i hope they keep the same pull rates where there isn't a hollow foil in every pack um, what I'd like to see them do is replace some of the LOB illustrations with the 25th anniversary rarity. So like a Legend of Blue Eyes illustration, Dark Magician, and replace and have that in there with the 25th anniversary secret rare. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. That's what I'm saying. If you could pull like a Red Eyes... Uh, like a red eyes from the LOB and uh, with that the quarter century secret rare that'd be dope Woo. first edition arm dragon level 7 heavily played but hey again we're digging into a fraction of the cards that we have that's what yeah exactly <laughs> exactly um, yeah that's what that I because like I said I, I don't mind not pulling a hollow foil okay prime example here we got a Japanese card Prime example. So, I had a bunch of uh, I, I had a bunch of packs actually over my right shoulder. There's a magical hero box, and I got a bunch of loose packs in there. And I found a guy in Battle Creek 
who's just got a bunch of random uh, random packs for sale. And he had some uh, old school ones. They were reprints from the last Legendary Collection, but I bought them. But when I found out that they were going to reprint the, the set, I was like, okay, bet. I'm going to open up these old packs. Well, figures, we didn't record. And we're sitting there opening up. Opened up the Blue Eyes. We pulled a Mystical Elf. And then we pulled, uh, we opened up uh, Metal Raiders, I believe it was, and uh, pulled a freaking Gate Guardian. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? I've never pulled a Gate Guardian before. So I was heavily freaking stoked. And this was before they announced Gate Guardian support. So yeah, I was I was pretty hype about that. Got the Starfoil Cybernetic Magician. Um, but yeah, that's what I would really like to see with this... Uh, with this 25th anniversary set, just the LLB illustrations with the quarter century secret rare. Like think of like Trihorn Dragon, how freaking awesome that would look. That would look so freaking dope. Um, and I feel like they're cooking up something. They're, oh, let's see. We could uh, run into some, not Needle Wall, but uh, d Trap Dust Shoot, I think is the name of it. Some old stuff in here. But, um, dude, I know I was, I, it was okay. I was just like, I was really happy because I never pulled Gay Guardian. And I was like, oh my God, I freaking pulled the secret rare. What the hell? Because I was worried when you buy a bunch of loose packs, the guy seemed trustworthy. He seemed cool. It was just, you know, oh, tra trap dust shoot right there. Bada boom. Oh, sorry. I'm like off camera. Another trap dust shoot. First edition. Oh, but somebody mutt chewed on it. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, it was cool. Like, it's kind of like a pawn shop thing in Battle Creek. The dude seems super legit, though. He mainly sells, um, he mainly sells Pokemon, but, um, he had, like, a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh! So, he still has them. Um, he still has a bunch of packs. So I still want to get some from him. But, yeah, man, it was, it was wild. So, I was like, hell yeah, I pulled the freaking Secret Rare. So, I was stoked about that. So, all right, well, that was kind of a cool tin. Uh, some interesting stuff out of there. Mike, I've opened one case and four displays so from Ghost Path 2. Got five ghosts. The best one was the red eyes. You know, I'll be honest with you, man. I If, if I had a choice, if I had a choice of what ghost rare I'd want to pull, it would be red eyes black dragon. Um, I like Dark Magician Girl. I don't think there's ever going to be a better rarity than that super, you know, the one where you can see her entire body and she's kind of holding the rod up. It's a secret rare. It was the one from the tin. That's, other than the Magician's Force, that's my favorite one. It's nice. It's, you know, it's really valuable, obviously, but um, just some, I don't know, some uh, illustrations are better in some rarities than others, I, I feel. Power Ranger Valkyria. I'll be honest with you, man. There's there's one there's one card that's on my radar, and until I get a serious promotion, I just can't uh, I can't put five hundred dollars into one card. But I will eventually get the Ghost Rare Dark Magician. That's the one card that like there's a lot of cards out there, Kaiba man. Uh, there's a lot of cards out there, but like it's a uh, the Ghost Rare Dark Magician's the one. Um, 2005 to DMG is amazing. I need to get one. So yeah, dude, I, I love that one. Uh, I got the uh, Lost Art, actually. I got the Lost Art one in my deck. That's the one I use. Um, and I got a super rare of her. It's like it's kind of valuable. It's like 26 bucks. Um, and uh, yeah, it's... I don't know, man. The, the Ghost Rare Dark Magician, like, when I found out about that, I was just like, I have to have that card. And when I, you know, when we invested so much money and it, we just lost so hardcore. Oh, there we got Flaming Eternity. It's a little uh, damaged. Or Rise of Destiny, rather. Oh, 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 oh! Penguins! <laughs> yes, Penguin Soldier. Super rare. Sorry. Okay, so... <laughs> The entire thing behind this, so the the entire thing behind this channel, I I basically like. Oh, fudge! Yeah, bro, 
Oh, your boy needed this. Oh my gosh, I hope there's two more of these. Hell yeah. I got the Sprite, that Sprite Ninja OTK. I've gotten it to work multiple times. We were dueling one night. I actually have a, a short video of it on our channel. And uh, this is a necessary card for the OTK. Um, hell yeah. Very happy about that.